All right, in this video, I will be going over the solution to the step tracker for your response question. And um, basically, we're just building a single class. And we have to think about like the data instance variables. They don't tell us what these are. We have to make a constructor. They tell us a little bit about the constructor. And then they tell us we have to make at least three methods um, listed right here. Okay, so when I do this, I, you know, I read it over. I definitely look at these examples. I think that's super helpful. And then I always start with like, what variables do I, do I track? Okay, so hopefully you've read this over already, so I'm not going to read it to you right now. But um, basically, uh, the first thing I notice here is that they have a parameter that defines the minimum number of steps taken for a day to be considered active. Okay, and you can actually see that they're going to pass that min number into the constructor. Okay, so in my list of variables, um, I'm going to do a private, remember these are pretty much always private, int, and then I'm going to be min steps, right? Like that's a min steps for being active. And I'm not going to set it there because I'm going to set it in my constructor. Okay, so I know I'm going to do a public step tracker. The constructor name must match exactly this class heading. And then they pass in the min steps number here, in this case, 10,000. Okay, so I'm going to have a parameter coming in here called int min steps in or whatever. And then I'm just going to set the instance variable min steps to be min steps in, whatever they pass in. So in the example they show, they would pass in 10,000, and that would just set this thing to be 10,000. Okay, so that's kind of the start. That's the first part. Um, and then if I look at like what else are they tracking? Okay, so they want to track how many days have been active, right? So I think I'm going to need a, a, an int for that. So I'm going to do a private int num days active. And you could name it whatever you want, all right? But I think you'd name it as descriptive as possible. That'll be kind of helpful. All right, and I'm going to keep reading through here. Average steps. Um, what I'm really going to need for average steps would be how many steps they've taken total and how many days they've been walking. Okay, so I have an active days, but I don't have a regular days. Okay, so I'm going to go back up here and I'm going to do a private uh, int and then I'm gonna do total days or maybe just days. I'm just call it that and then I'm going to do a private int total steps okay all right um, and then I'm going to kind of keep reading through here um, so I can do add daily steps that'll just add to the number of steps I've had okay and I think this will constitute another day happening all right active days we've already talked about that'll just return the the active days this num days active that should be a pretty easy method um, the average, again, will just divide the steps by the days. That's pretty straightforward. Okay, and then there's nothing else different. Those are just the different methods that they're going to be using. So I think we've got all the data we need. Okay, the only other thing I'm going to do here, and I'm not, I don't think you get dinged for the, on the AP test if you did this, but I would do all doubles. Okay, even though you can't walk, well, I guess you could walk half a step or something. But just because I, I hate that integer truncation problem, Right, so I can avoid that if all of these are doubles, right? And I think there's nothing in here that says I have to use ints. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't say anything that I have to use ints. So I'm going to change all of these to be doubles because I am paranoid. You could choose to cast them later or whatever, um, but that's just the Mr. Westbrook part. That's my thought. Okay, so that's all we needed for the constructor, except, oh, I should set, remember, we should always set all of these variables. So min steps is whatever comes in, but then the other one, like num days active, that should just be zero, right? If it's a brand new Fitbit, we haven't been active at all. The days themselves is still zero, okay? And our total steps also zero, because we haven't done any stepping at this point, also known as walking. Okay, so now I just got to do the, the method. So add daily steps. 
which accumulates how many steps and it's it's just once per day okay so basically if i do a method that is public void i believe add i should get the name right add daily steps i'm just gonna copy and paste it right out of there if i can do that okay and then i'm going to take in a double that is the new steps we've taken okay and so one of the parts that's kind of tricky here is i can take my total steps and i want to update that i want to add to that the new steps so i'm going to do plus equals i don't want to overwrite it because that'll just wipe out all the steps i've taken but i want to do plus equals but then the part that's less intuitive right is and again i would encourage you if you haven't thought of this to pause and try to think of it what's, what's the piece we're missing all right and that is that this is a new day right so i have to do plus plus days right because um another day has happened right that that's a day's worth of steps so that we have to increase the days and then also um, i'm thinking about this even more Right, but also now I want to figure out if that's an active day or not, right? Because that's gonna, you know, this is I have to update this if if they took more steps than the min steps. Okay, so basically we will need an if here that says if the steps they took, if these new steps are greater than I think or equal to probably the min steps they need. Okay, then we should plus plus. The number of days that are active right so we're going to increase that that count of the active days right if their new steps is more than the minimum steps needed to be considered active okay and i think that's the end of that method all right so let's look at what else they have us do here so active days just returns the number of active days so that should be pretty easy should be famous last words and I shouldn't say easy because if you've just learned and most things are not easy, but um, this one's going to be a double um, active days. And if you set it up with ints, you could return an int here too. That's fine. But basically, I just got to return num days active. How many days we've been active, right? It just keeps track of it. And again, if you look at, you know, these method calls to active days, in the beginning, you have no active days. Right, and then you know by the end you have a couple active days, so you're just returning that int that represents how many days have been over that threshold. Okay, so here'd be where they added this the daily steps, and here'd be another one. So those two went over the threshold of ten thousand. That's why this is two at this point. Okay, so I think we just got one more method left, which is to return the average steps. Okay, so I'm just going to divide my total steps by my days variable. Okay, so I'm going to return a double again. And I forget the name of it already. It's called average steps. So average steps per day. I don't need to pass anything because everything's stored in my, my class here. So now I'm just going to return the uh, total steps divided by the days okay and i don't have to do any casting because i set it up as doubles the only problem with that actually again pause the video and see if you can figure out what is what is going to be the problem with that potential problem all right and so the the issue is you can't divide by zero so in the beginning of this, they actually give an example where they do average steps. And so no data has been recorded, no steps, no number of days. So if we wrote the code like this, days would be zero from the constructor. And then since we haven't added any daily steps yet, it's going to be divided by zero and it's going to bonk out and crash our Fitbit. Not good. So basically to fix it, we're going to do if days equal equals zero. Then we just want to return zero because we have no average at this point and then we can do an else that says if it's you know if it's not zero then we can divide by however many days we have and again i don't have to do any casting because i made everything doubles okay and i believe that's it we can check it over and see but we've got the methods um that they wanted right, we can look through it again but those are the three methods that are needed 
right? And, and the hard part to me on this is figuring out the right data here, right? Because they don't tell you much about that. You've just got to make sense of it. It's like you're designing the class. So, you know, I really encourage you to think about a Fitbit, think about like what data do I need, right, in these methods to make these methods happen. And you can always do it on the fly. Like if you come down here and realize, oh yeah, I need to track the number of days active, go back up and make that variable, right? You can, you can, there's a few different approaches. I always start on the data side, but you can actually just start with the methods and then, then as you need a variable, come back and declare them and set them in your constructor. Right? There's a lot of different ways to program. I just like to start with the data. All right, that is it. Thank you for...